protect him. What else does he want from this program? Goldthorpe sends it in. Hofstra has a great chance in front of the net, but Elon promptly sends it away. Ryan Carmichael looked to have a good chance, but again, great defense by the Phoenix. The Salmon takes the throw in, lofted inside the box. Header and Bilichuk, a nice lunging save. First real shot we've had today, and it comes off of Ryan Carmichael's noggin. Ellen, who else? Hofstra is going to be looking for Ryan Carmichael all game because he has the ability to make plays when there isn't all over the head play because Sam Durant had had a great run and was almost alone. Max down on the ground, but Hofstra continues to attack. It's Carlos. Carlos over inside the 18, chipped inside and into the back of the net. All while Mac Sabaha is on the ground. It comes off of Savander and it finds the back of the net out of the outreach arm of Ryan Bilichuk. Now Hofstra with a chance. Goldthorpe over off the top crossbar. And the hands go to the head of all the Hofstra players. And they'll make a substitution. Wow, was that one close. Let's see what they draw up. Casper Lem chips it inside the box. Stromps in there on the ground in front of Wessel Spiel who corrals it. Wow, that one hit right off his chest, it appeared, but it falls into his arms and he hits the ground. In, Ulvik will box out in the 18, sends it across. No one there, Lem inside the box. Wessel Spiel makes a lunging save at it, and it rolls over the end line. Used every bit of that frame to make a play on the box. Philander's gonna take it for the pride. He chips one inside the box. Up and over, Ryan Bilichuk gets a hand on it. Another chance, and it's into the back of the net. A rebound goal for the Hofstra Pride. It's Francesco Perinelli, and the bench erupts in celebration. And the thousands of fans here at Rudd can't believe it. That one sent all the way down. Throw in quickly. They do anything they can, but for the second straight year, the Hofstra Pride are the champs of the CAA. And they do it here at Rudd with a score of two to one over the reigning CAA regular season champs, the Elon Phoenix. Well, like, Hofstra played really well today on both sides of the ball. I mean, this defense did a great job stopping Elon, but it was, again, their forwards, they made open plays, and they continued the run afterwards. Both of those players that scored the goals, they got open after the play was had already been made initially, and the reason they were so wide open is because they continued on with it. That is really showing how great Hofstra's forwards are, and Elon just cannot get the job done today. And you gotta think, no Marco Vesterholm, they lost Michael Clow early. That goes a long way, but losing those two key pieces had to play a factor. If you're the Phoenix, you can't hang your head. You had a great regular season, you had a great run to get here, and they might not have clinched the NCAA tournament like the Hofstra Pride did, but there's still a chance. There definitely is. I mean, when you finish number one in the regular season, people are looking at you. They know that you're a good team, so this might not be the end for Elon. Obviously, though, they wanted to win the CAA title, and you're gonna see Richard Natal, he hugging all of his players. We asked him what it would mean to him to win a CAA championship this year, and he said he just wanted to see the look on his players' faces and the excitement on his players' faces. He just knew that would fulfill everything he has ever wanted as a coach if he could do that for his players. Oh! Fans, we thank you for your continued support.